was um, the provenance began with my grandfather, who resides in the southern island of the Philippines, Camigin Island. Um, he gave it to my aunt back in 1959 as a gift. So what I uh, told um, the media was uh, it was called the pasalubong. It's a souvenir if you're visiting a relative. So it's a common practice to us. But my aunt had um, she's a collector of okay. antiquities and you know. Uh, shells. So my grandfather thought that, okay, we'll bring her something that's commonly found. And from there, like, it sat at her home since then in Manila, amongst with her collection. Right. And then in 2016, when she was unloading her estate, Mm. Um, the family, you know, as Filipinos, were very practical. They chose like some fa the family member or more interested of her estate, the home. Right. You know, and, and then it landed in your hands. Mine is the collection of art and. <laughs> wow. The Canadian appraiser gave a very conservative appraisal. He said that it was between 60 to 90 million. Hong Kong gave me 150 to 200, which is a, quite a scary number. Of course, you get excited when you hear that, wow, what a wonderful number. But it's also, wow, the insurance is going <laughs> to make me pay. <laughs> I was blessed enough that this has been bequeathed to me. But then the res it's more of the responsibility that I have towards it. People are more concerned of its value compared to its historical importance, what it represents. Our oceans are very delicate and who knows if you're going to ever find something like this again. If I decided to sell this today, who knows if it'll just end up in a vault again. I want it to be uh, shared to different museums or galleries, you know, a good exposure so that the people will know that it does exist. Mm -hmm.